the track. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Mark Hayes. This is Five Talk Street. Well, being healthy and getting fit is a hot topic today. And my next guest want to tell us about an event designed to help us adopt a healthy lifestyle. LaShonda Dupard is the founder of Fit and Faithful Living. And Reggie Dupard is the co-founder of Fit and Faithful Living and former SMU and NFL football player. What a pleasure to have you here. Thanks for having us. You know what? This is such a big issue. I was just talking with a friend yesterday and visiting with him. He's dealing with complications from diabetes. You know, and and a lot of it has to do with his lifestyle. Former athlete as well, but it kind of gets away from us. Once we get sedative and we start eating bad, next thing you know, we start putting on weight, Absolutely. and that can lead to problems. Absolutely, which is primarily why we established Fit and Faithful Living. Mm -hmm. um, for one, Reggie, being an ex-athlete, you know, once they quit, that's all they do all their lives. So it's like, I'm done. I'm going to eat whatever <laughs> I want. I'm going to hang out. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> And when he was diagnosed with hypertension, I said, mm. oh, no, we're not going to do that. Being right. from Louisiana, mm. it's just a hard road to go down. Right. And when we look at our diets, we all know it's bad, but it tastes so good, so it's hard to have that discipline. I'm dealing with hypertension myself. So tell me a little bit about how you're fighting it and how you're winning the battle. Well, first of all, I needed to exercise. You said I was an athlete. I had to get out, get back into walking, exercise, mild lifting. And what happened to me initially, I had high blood pressure, I was on cholesterol medicine, um, at risk for kidney disease, so my wife... He's uh, about to check out. She I'm was like, like, no. She's like, this is not going to happen to you, brother. So, um, so I had to go get physical and things like that, and I got back in shape, and now my cholesterol, is, I'm off of cholesterol medicine. Wow. They reduced my high blood pressure medicine, and through the exercise, and, and of course through praying, praying God, I'm able to exercise and, and do what I need to do. Yeah, tell, tell me a little bit about the, the, the faith-based component of this, LaShonda. I mean, because it's a family activity, obviously. You have your partnership here. Um, but how did the faith component come in? Well, with anything, I think, basically, you have to have faith in mm -hmm. God in order to get up. When we get older, we don't really want to do as much as we did when we were younger. Mm -hmm. So just getting out of bed sometimes requires faith, right? Mm -hmm. So with that, we thought we've got to include this because mm -hmm. it's going to encourage people. It's going to inspire people that unless you have the faith to be able to do what you want to do and can do through God, mm -hmm. it's not going to happen. Right, right, right. And Reggie, you know, you mentioned something that was very interesting, being a former athlete and everything, but you had to start all over again and you started slow. You know, as God Guys, it's kind of difficult for us not to be able to do what we used to do, right. but it's the important and it's the healthy thing to do. Well, the thing you got to do, you have to change your diet, first of all. If, if you're working out and then you're going and eating up everything and eating late at night, well, you're defeating the purpose. I see, well, I don't want to talk about it anymore in the gym, but if you're in the gym and your body isn't changing, you're not doing something right. So with the exercise, you have to, you have to eat correctly. And my wife, she cooks very well, and so we eat healthy. I don't eat any fried foods, Mark. Wow. Wow. Not yeah, at all. Yeah. Because really, basically, fitness is 80% diet. Mm -hmm. You know, you can work out all day long, and your body is not going to move unless right. you change your eating habits. Right. Well, you guys have the, the Fit and Faithful Expo coming up, and I understand you're going to have an incredibly motivational, 77-year young <laughs> <laughs> motivational expert who is a bodybuilder. Tell me a little She's bit a about Ernestine. powerhouse. Ernestine Shepard is my shero. 77 years old, wow. body is built like a machine, and she is the epitome of what it is to be fit and faithful. Wow. Getting up every day, working out, she's in Guinness Book of World Records, she's also in Ebony Magazine this month, and she is just incredible. She eats right every day. She's determined to wow. do the right things to live right. And, and she won't hesitate to do 25, 30 push-ups. In front of And me. if you cannot get motivated, you're like, man, I... <laughs> the women we had a last year as well, and so the the women that hear her, they're motivated, and it's actually changed lives. Yes, right, absolutely. Wow. All it, right, you guys have motivated me. Okay. Yes. Good. Good. <laughs> what a pleasure to meet you both. Thanks so much for Thank stopping by today. For having us. I appreciate it. Okay. Yes, indeed. All right, hey, don't go away. More Five Talk Street coming up in just a moment. Stay with us.